begun. Vampires fought back in super real 3D. Okay, I have the Canon EOS R5C. I've been experimenting with it. I've been experimenting with the RAW 8K, the RAW 6K, and I love it. It's juicy. It's amazing, the color grade. There is a serious playback issue with 8K inside of Premiere, and I've just accepted the concept that even though I have this fantastic computer that I'll list the specs for on the side here, it still just doesn't play back. It's nothing like the red R3D codec inside of Premiere. However, I realized, and I won't <laughs> explain the whole reason why I even tried this, but I still have the older version of Premiere, the 2021 version of Premiere on my computer. And when I opened it up and dragged footage into it to try it, because I had experienced a couple of different things in the past, <clears throat> it, it actually played smooth and it played much more similarly to the R3D codec that Red has that I'm always touting about being an amazing experience to edit with. So let me give you an example real quick. Um, I'll break the camera off, but right now we're in 2022, the latest version of Premiere. I tried the, ver the I was two, gen two versions back just a little while ago. This is the very, very newest one just to make sure they didn't fix this yet. It makes me a little nervous about the future. I, I, I'm hoping somehow they, they revert the concept back that they have going on <clears throat> in the 2021 Premiere. But here we go. Here I'm going to bring this over so you can see the screen. Okay, here is playback of red R3D file. I know, just bear with me for a second. Okay, we can see that totally playing smooth. Now this is 6K footage, R3D, playing fine, and I always play back at half. I can play it back at full, but it does start to get a little bit stumbly, but I'm always rocking half. Right now we're in a 4K timeline. I haven't really noticed a difference between the 4K timeline and the 8K timeline. Now if we go over to the Canon R5C footage, uh, I'm real happy with how it looks. It's gonna match the red well. I mean, I haven't even begun trying to, to grade it, but I mean, I haven't tried matching it yet. But if I hit play, I have hit play, and this is the playback experience that we get. You know, uh, if there's a little bit of audio to make it more exaggerated, this is. Okay, so that it, that's pretty damn sluggish, and it's very hard to color grade, and it, it's bogging out, and it's shut down on me a few times. Again, if I hop over to 6K footage, red R through D, the, the codec I'm always chatting about, look at that. I mean, it's just totally smooth. I can jump around wherever, and I expected this. I did expect this, but here's the other version of Premiere. Let me cut this real quick. Okay, now we're up and running with the... Adobe Premiere 2021 version, the, I'll, I'll put the exact version up under here, you know, on the notes here, but look at the playback here. Here, I'll hop ahead. It's like almost as crit, uh, snappy as the R3D. Here, Look at that. And then if I just, you know, just again, just to bounce down. 8K footage. And then when I hop over to the red, it's still playing great. 6K footage on the red, 8K footage on the Canon. And the reason I'm filming this is because I don't want there to be any excuse for lag happening in any direction based on screen recording. So that's why I'm filming it instead of screen recording. But I don't want to tax the computer any more than I am. But this project I have going in the newest version of Premiere, which means that I'm going to have to like edit this whole day of footage and maybe export all my potential takes and re-import them as a different codec into the other project that I just I've had going for like a couple of years now and I just got the R5C, so this is the first footage from this camera that's being incorporated into this project. I'm very happy with like the, the way it looks, but I was blaming the codec and now I realize it's an issue on Adobe's end. So uh, maybe this plays better in Resolve, but man, I mean, Adobe is my home base, is where all my projects are. I, I don't, I'm not trying to switch right now. I guess I'm gonna go to the 2021 version, but I wanted you guys to be aware of this. And I'm gonna throw one more crazy, weird thing that I don't understand at you. And that is that I've, 
I just put out a video, the first video I put out on the R5C was showing how I was excited to use the 0.71 focal reducer as a method of getting full frame 6K raw on this camera. And in doing so, I would then have less file size and 6K is plenty big. I'm used to working with 6K on the red, which is great. Um, and by the way, just to mention, I've only got like a couple of uh, LUTs at 50% opacity on, on these clips. I've tried it with the effects completely off and it just being the C log. There's really no difference. It doesn't tax it any differently. Amazingly, I don't know why. It seems like it would, but it doesn't. It's just the same performance in both versions of Premiere. But what I was gonna say about the 6K uh, is that I don't know why, but even in, in the old, in this 2021 version, the 6K still plays pretty good, but it plays much more similarly to the ex playback experience I'm having in the newest version of Premiere. So I'll literally have footage in here that's 6K right next to 8K, and the 8K is playing back with this kind of snappy performance of playback, and then the 6K is stuttering and making it like I, where I have to use proxies, which makes no sense to me at all. Now, I tried, maybe it was like, because the 8K, if I play at half resolution, is exactly 4K, and maybe it's like the pixels by being exactly half is playing nicer with the preview playback. Uh, I tried different resolution options. It didn't make any difference. So I, I, even if that, I mean, I don't know. This is These are the wildest guesses, but it's a weird predicament. I don't know what's going on with that. So uh, it's 12 30 at night i'm gonna go to bed and i'll have to edit this tomorrow but i think this is important for people to know if you're working on a project with canon raw light i'm i don't know if it's just unique to the r5c or what but if you're having like sluggish performance try the 2021 version of premiere and uh, again i'm putting the exact version that i'm using i'm not even going to update to the very latest version of the old version <laughs> if they have one because I don't want to mess anything up. I normally never update to the very newest version of Premiere just because I don't want to deal with issues with um, uh, my plugins not working. It usually takes a couple of versions for the to catch up. So I'm always trying to stay a couple of versions behind. Um, in this case, I did go ahead and make go up to the newest, newest version of Premiere for that new 2022 Premiere test. Uh, because I was having sluggish performance in it, and I was a couple of versions back, and I went to the newest one, it still didn't resolve it. This is the only thing that can resolve it, other than maybe actually switching to resolve. <laughs> maybe resolve plays it totally smooth. But I can't imagine switching editors right now, man. I've like got, I've got two decades of working in this software, so I want this to work. All right, best of luck. If you guys have any ideas about it, or you're experiencing something different, I don't know if this is unique to PC, um, I don't, you know, there's so many different moving parts. I don't know if that's a part of it, but definitely, definitely, I have to edit. My experience in the editing on 2021 is awesome. I'm, I got joyful about the camera again. I was like, oh, it's not gonna be this crazy cumbersome thing. And then I just am nervous that I, what am I doomed to always have to do this in the oldest version? What did Adobe change? And please, please change it back. So let's get some people on this. Let's get some information out there so maybe they do that. All right, take care guys, peace. Movie Voice.